Nice to have a little catch up with you, Dave, of course. Uh, just You've had time, like the rest of the squad and the management team and the fans, to reflect on, on, on the weekend's result and performance. I guess you're like everybody else, slightly disappointed that you had to share the points. Yes, yeah, but uh, if you look at it from the, from the positives, there's a point on the board, and uh, like I say, point on the board, so, we, uh, so we're up and running. So, uh, so yeah, we can only, uh, only get better and, uh, and progress on that. So, uh, so, yeah, fingers crossed. There's a game tomorrow night, and then uh, on Saturday against Portsmouth would be a big test. But, uh, but yeah, so we'll take us a couple of, uh, couple of games to gel, get ready, and uh, we're back out on the training pitch this morning to, to start all over again. How did it feel for you on a, on a personal note? You know, you're, you're in the team on the opening day of the season. I uh, yeah, it felt, it felt brilliant. It felt brilliant over the uh, over the summer. I've uh, I've worked out. I've been in the gym. I put quite a few uh, kilos on in uh, in muscle. So I thought I'll have a I'll have a good go. Have a good bash in the off season, and then come back in uh, in pre season and have a good go. Uh, and fingers crossed to be uh, to be in the in a good good shape, good frame of mind to uh, to play and start the season. You've had a terrific battle with Will Yaskalain and over a few years, haven't you? Just, and that battle continues. You're very close to each other. And, but you have to be professionally, you know, minded and, and mentally strong when it comes your opportunity. And it must have been great to know that you, you were going to start the season. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, it was good. Uh, like I said, like you said we, uh, we get on really well. We've just been having our uh, omelette omelet together, sat on the same table having a chat. So, uh, so yeah, we get we get on get on good as goal, really, and so uh, so yeah, he's had uh, he had the virus a couple of couple of weeks ago, so that knocked him back a little bit. So uh, so yeah, he's uh, he's coming back into full fitness now as well. So uh, so yeah, he just needs uh, just needed time to be careful and to look after himself. As we've all been talking, because we've all been waiting for that day to happen at the weekend, the fans were back. You're the the man in the goal with the fans behind you at both ends of the field. How was that? And what was it like? Yeah, it was a great, great atmosphere. Great atmosphere. And it was, uh, was it something like over 5,000 uh, 5, fans, wasn't it? So, uh, so, yeah, it was absolutely brilliant Yeah, to, uh, to run over to them before, uh, before kick-off. They, uh, they all made a fuss. And, uh, yeah, really loud. And it was a great atmosphere. So, uh, so yeah, fingers crossed a bit more of that. Obviously, the, the result hinged, unfortunately, for you, for your team on a mistake. You are that last line of defence. Are you one of those goalkeepers who, once something like that happens, goes out and tries to encourage those players in front of them for, unfortunately, conceding that sloppy goal? Yeah, that's well. That, that's at half time. It, it happened literally just before half time. We all we all went in there, and uh, it's just a pat on the back because you can't do anything. Then it's all in the past. So uh, pat on the back and lucky. Let's go again. And uh, we can't dwell on it because uh, every all of us will make mistakes, and uh, and it does happen. So yeah, just a pat on the back, unlucky. Try and get everyone's confidence back up, and then uh, and then we go again. So that's the that's the main thing really to do in that situation. As I said earlier, you've been a, you know at the club a long time, and you were part of that squad. We spoke to the manager about it. We went last time to Hartlepool, where it was a dreadful night to remember four and odd half years ago, where the team were heavily beaten 4-0. But there's a lot of things changed for the good since then, hasn't there? And uh, that's what you've got to go and show now when you go to Hartlepool in the Cup. Yes, yeah, definitely. We'll go there in uh, in high spirits. And uh, and yeah, I uh, I forgot about that one back, uh, back a few years ago. But... Uh, yeah, we'll go there this year. They're just a newly promoted team, so they'll uh, they'll have a good go. They'll have a good go, and uh, and yeah, it will be a tough game. But like I said, we've got uh, we've got personnel here that uh, that we're ready to to go, and uh, and fingers crossed, win.